Hey, this is Lynn from Design the Life You Want to Live, and I want to show you one of my all-time favorite apps for doing some amazing photos for Instagram, and it's called Visco Cam. And I don't know uh, what that stands for. Maybe very super califragilistic, expialidocious cam app. I don't know, but here it goes. So um, this is what the app looks like right here. We're going to open it up. And I have brought in photos from my iPhoto library, but basically to do that, you just push this plus button up here and um, you know, we can add a photo at the treehouse here, pop that in and we've brought in a photo. So, um, and where did my treehouse photo goes? go? Of course that doesn't show up. So let's just pick one that I've already brought in. As you can see, I've already brought in a ton of them. So uh, we'll grab this one and go from there. So you can't have two of them clicked off at the same time as you just saw. So you just want to click one and you'll see it by this green box that goes around the photo. And you're going to push this little paintbrush and tool app button down at the bottom left. And this is what's going to show up for you. So my first thing that I do is I push this little paintbrush and it'll show all the different uh, looks that your photo can get. As we go down the line here, you'll see all kinds of fun ones. So I just kind of leaf through and see which ones are my favorite. And it's pretty tough because I pretty much like them all. So hard to pick. And usually you might even want to get on a habit in a habit of actually picking your favorite all the time to sort of have a consistent look in Instagram. I tend to stick with this S1, S2, S3. So let's go with this one, which is S2. And you can see on the right with this bar that you can change the intensity of it or not. So just play with that. Go in this back button over here and then you pick this little tool. And this is where I will play with the exposure, make it a bit brighter or not, the contrast. Uh, you can go up and down with that. You can crop the photo, which you're going to need for Instagram to be square anyway. So I will uh, generally do that as well. We'll see where we'll go with on that one. Yes, click the little check mark. You can sharpen the photo. I usually do that as well and oh my gosh there's so many but basically you'll probably get into the habit of just using a few and I just use these upper ones for exposure contrast crop and sharpen so when we're liking that one we're going to go back with the arrow again press check mark and it's saving now I'm going to hit this arrow at the bottom save it to my camera roll because I just like to always keep a copy of my photos and my edits and then the other thing you can do is also share it straight to Instagram. So I'll click that arrow again and go right over to Instagram. Just needs a moment for my country internet. Open in Instagram. And boom, Bob's your uncle. And usually over here, I actually don't often use the Instagram filters at the bottom. I'll pop up to here and do the same little uh, wrench tool thing and again play with a bit more with the brightness and the contrast again just to kind of tweak it to what usually works and doesn't work um, for the look and feel of your Instagram feed. Hit next and boom you're in there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Did I even say that right? I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. And I hope to see you on the blog. It's Design the Life You Want to Live, which is lynnnolton.com. And we'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome one. Bye for now.